Good morning, everybody. It is now about 9 o'clock, just before 9 o'clock in the morning. I've been up again for about a half hour. It's December 18th, 2016. Um, <laughs> I sent out a really quick message telling you guys about an old story and uh, kind of the... For people who don't know me as well as those that are the majority of the scri subscribers on here that are my kids, friends, and, and people who, you know, have actually met me in person and that type of thing, or had extensive communication with me. So I was telling you just a little tiny bit about a Halloween prank that my boys and I played, which my boys are my son and his two best friends and uh, a young neighbor boy. So, uh, when they were kids, the girls were getting on their nerves. They wanted to get back at them to, to make them leave them alone. So we did. Um, now, yes, I did do a prank with the girls later to get back at the boys, but the boys were older and smarter, and they knew what was going on. They figured it out really quick. Please excuse me, my sinuses are solid. They're swollen and won't move, so I'm having trouble breathing. I told you guys yesterday, I'm getting very sick again, but... Holy crap, that is good coffee on channel. John, I think that's so cute. Um, my expression is like, oh, in the mornings, thank God for coffee. So, okay. So I did lay back down, and I got a couple of more hours sleep, about two and a half hours, which I very desperately needed, especially with my grandson coming. Now, we have a different order of puppies in the house today. Same puppies, different places. It's really weird. Up here on the pillows where, <laughs> where my Chrissy normally lays, I have my spirit. Mm, my big guy, yes. Because Chrissy is in lane with her daddy. She loves her daddy very, very much. That's one of the things that made the idea of divorce very difficult for me was how it would have affected the three Estes. They, you know, Frosty and Chrissy had always had daddy. I already had Snowy when we got married um, for a number of years. And, but he loved his dad very much. He did. He loved my husband very, very much. And so, this is... This is one of the reasons that made it difficult. The other was our daughter, our youngest. Um, she was not quite yet grown. And the idea of her having to go through her mother and father divorcing, I guess that was too tough for me to do to her. And she did not want that to. She wouldn't have cared this time, but in fact, she encouraged it at the point where I started this channel. However, something in my heart said, you know, we have to take a good look at this. We've got a young grandchild. I'm really glad I did. I am. Uh, so... See, look at all this gray that has shown up. It's ridiculous, and it's white, 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 white. Okay. So, I'm going to pause for a second and try to gather what my thoughts were and try to help my sinuses a little bit. I had forgotten to take my cough medicine, so please give me a minute. Yeah, it made my ears pop a little bit. Because I was hearing in this tunnel. And one side of my sinuses is a little more open so I can breathe. This side is swollen inside very badly. Um, I've checked with my scope and it's it's just not a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> hence I needed the cough medicine. I 
So, this is, if you ever wonder, why do I always look like this? Or why do 99% of my videos have my hair up in a ponytail or piled up on my head? Um, this is not brushed. This is what I wake up like. Um, 90% of the days, I, you know, because I brush my hair before I go to bed. And then I wake up and this is what you get. By the time you see me, I have brushed my teeth, well, my mouth and tooth, um, <laughs> and my, I've taken my medication, all that I can take to that point. Um, I've let the puppies out potty and grabbed a cup of coffee, sat down, said good morning to, to the Lord, said my prayer. Uh, said good morning to my snowy, my frosty, and my dad. This morning to my grandparents and my granny Perkins, who was a neighbor lady that was like an extra grandma for me. She was a really neat lady from uh, Austin, Texas. Very sweet, great cook. And she taught me that she's the one who discovered that I had a natural gift for piano because she had one in her home. So that was really, really neat. Um, and to my great grandmother Isaac, who I've not seen since before my eighth birthday when she passed away that year, and to old Mickey Mouse, my dad's dog that I grew up with. He passed on when I was 10 because he was hit by a car. The guy took off, didn't even bother to look at his tags to call or anything. It was a re really very sad situation. But that was my. Not my first exposure to death. My first exposure was my great-grandmother. Now, I understand there wasn't exposure prior to that, but I was two years old. I don't remember. Sorry, that is my Tizanidine or brand name Xanaflex. It helps the shaking, the chicks, the muscle, real tooth. It works on the nerve endings. They call it a muscle relaxer, but truth be known, it works on... The nervous system so that the receptors aren't rapid firing randomly firing it really really does help at least with my symptoms um, I don't think that that's something every fibro patient needs mine it's got to do with the spinal stuff you see I have my ponytail older because it keeps getting in my face it's going up in the ponytail and I don't care today's Sunday and generally I won't film on a Sunday because Generally, the only thing that I will do on Sundays is anything that is to, to I, I won't work on a Sunday. I will not uh, do housework on Sundays unless it's an emergency or a major holiday. I'll cook supper. Feed my pops. You know, the things you got to do every day. But my dad always said that if, you, if your job permitted, then Sunday should be a day of rest. So, rest and, and to rejuvenate. It won't work out that way for me today. It was supposed to, but... <sighs> Life happens, guys. I'm telling you. Um... <laughs> So, I'm so not ready to have Dante back, but, because I still do not feel well at all, and it's his little sniffles and cold that did this talk to myself and my husband, now we're both sick, but it's not his fault, he's a little kid. He gets sniffles and colds quite frequently in the winter, it, it does concern me. I don't think he's built his immune system quite enough yet. Okay, so, just to hear, as if that's new, it's floating in my house half the time. And on the days I brush them, there's esky hair that just goes poof off of them. But unless it's the day you're brushing them, they don't shed. The girls will blow their coat out when they're in heat. Uh, most girls will, not all. But my males don't shed. You have to the hair from them. 
uh, this is when he thinks that he's getting away with something. Spirit. Hey. Hey. Let's say hi. Put these new paws. He's cleaning these paws. You see? They preen like a cat. Remember I told you that? And pretty soon he'll use his paw to clean his face. This is what American Eskimos do. This is what makes their care so easy as far as keeping them white. They just stay white. You know, it's, it's a rarity. They'll get dirty, but, you know, a good brushing. It's all gone. <laughs> his favorite thing for me is scratch between his eyes and the top of his mouth. He's like, oh, mom. That's his favorite thing that isn't his belly. We'll just put it that way. He likes his belly scratched quite a lot. Yes, he does. He hates it when I take the sleepies out of his eyes, except the first thing in the morning. Because he gets quite a bit of them. Okay, good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Big boy. Yes. Let me lift your head and be proud. So then I have fluffers down here on Frosty's favorite, but favorite bed. I have Ladybug up here. On the other side of the bottom of my bed, and Chrissy and uh, Spooky Doo and Daddy. Chrissy slept with me this morning. I closed my door so that I could talk to you guys. Um, and I was just so exhausted, I didn't even get up and open it. And she actually let me hold her for quite a while, which is, she doesn't like to be held when she's sleeping. She likes to be close to you and just touching you with a paw or her tail or something she can feel. But she doesn't like that enclosement. Um, so they are, they're really neat. They're so different. Are you cleaning mommy's paw? Hmm? This is how he does do kisses. He won't kiss my face. But he likes to lick my hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're a good big kid. Okay. Sorry. Like I said, I don't know how to video edit, so you're, you're stuck with what I do, and my pups are a massive part of my world. They they are. Chrissy is my world. It was that Snowy Frosty and Chrissy were my world. Man, when my nose is itching, what is that when um, someone's coming? That or when a broom falls? Something evil's coming? Something bad? When it falls and the stick goes toward the front door, that's not a good sign. Some people say that's, oh, that's witchcraft. No, that's an old Cherokee belief. And I'm sorry, but I, I was raised by an old Cherokee. An old half Cherokee, so. That's me. Um, but I just, you know, yesterday was crazy day and I got lots of videos filmed but I'd have to pause, have to pause, have to pause to deal with the animals. Not Chrissy. I was trying to guard her. But then I, I actually at one point had to lay my body over spirit, kiss him and calm him down so the others, the other three would stop attacking him. Because see, they won't attack mommy. They love mommy. They're picking on him. We can't do that. He's a good boy. So. I am praying that they are late bringing my grandson this morning. That it won't be until afternoon. Because I said sometime after 10. I meant p.m. But apparently it needs to be a.m. because of Brian's work schedule. Okay. Alright. God, please give me strength and patience. And let him not come home a whole Goodness, I'm getting stuff in on my phone and that's the noises you're hearing. I don't know why you can hear them, but you can. So, I don't know. I was hoping to get a whole bunch of knitting done while I nursed this stupid head cold that showed up after the bronchitis and pneumonia. <laughs> oh, it's like when it rains it pours. 
you know, I'm not, it doesn't get me down to be sick. Unless I just can't breathe and I get frightened. Because I know this is a part of life for me. I was extremely healthy until that, that silly accident. Other than the cancers that would come, but I was born with that and I've been fighting it since I was eight years old. So it was the norm to me, you know, I didn't look at it differently. It was, it sucked and, and it's what we had to do. Okay. So, oh, by the way, I happened to see something on YouTube last night that explains this ridiculous pigment white hair streak that I was born with. It is not associated with polio, although that's what the name is going to make it sound like. It is called poliosis. It's an inherited trait that stems from mother to child. So apparently, I will know who my mother is when I, if I ever get to Sicily. Because that is a genetic trait. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Maybe I will stop trying to get rid of it. I just hate that everybody says, oh, you look like Rogue. No, it's on the wrong side, guys. And I'm not a movie character or a comic book character. It would be nice. Or maybe not. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and get myself another cup of coffee. And I want to say happy Sunday to you all. Hope this last week before Christmas keeps you all from going insane. I have not done any of the shopping except for the things that they wanted me to make. Sorry. I hate Christmas shopping. I give my husband a list where to go, what to get, what sizes, what color. I stay home. I panic in those crowds. I, I really do. I go where I can, but for the most part, no. And as you can hear, I can't breathe. So, if that clears out, then I will put on whatever I can get out informatively today, if anything. If not, God bless. My prayers are with those of you who I have let you know that we are, you are in our prayers. And I send all of you lots of esky love <laughs> from puppies. Have a good day, babes. Bye.